am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new or you may have heard about Chalk Tour, but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, why while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to... Uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hi friends, happy Friday. Yay, I'm so, so pumped it's Friday. Um, <clears throat> let's jump into it, huh? I've got a super fun project planned. So, <clears throat> Let's start off with Club Couture. Club Couture is where it's at. And guess what? We've got a new Kickstarter kit to go along with Club Couture. And I'm going to talk about it. Because what the heck is Club Couture? Well, Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there. Bringing home decor to your door. It's only $19.99 a month plus tax in the U.S. And $26.99 a month plus tax for Canada. And guess what? It ships free to you every single month. Now, what will you get every single month? Well, you will get an exclusive size B transfer and three chalk paste singles that coordinate. As you see um, with this example for the July Club Couture on my screen. Now, <clears throat> You will, once you join my Club Couture, you will go into my private Club Couture group where I make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. So you will get that and you will also get a free catalog from me just because you are, you have joined my Club Couture. Now, what else do you get for this? Well, let me tell you, I'm so glad you're asking. You will also get bonus flat rate shipping on all of your orders as a Club Couture customer. Now, all my customers receive flat rate shipping of $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada, which is super good. That's on your entire order, you guys. But as a Club Couture customer, you will get bonus flat rate shipping only $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada on your entire order. How great is that? Now, as I was telling you, you will also receive, wait, hold on, let me finish saying this. You will also have access to private sales that Chalk Couture will also will offer their Club Couture customers. This month's sale happens to be over. It was good until July the 15th. And now another one will come out next month. And I am sure it is going to be absolutely amazing. But when you first go to join Club Couture, you even have the ability to add on the current month's Club Couture and take advantage of the Kickstarter kit. The Kickstarter kit comes with everything you need to keep on chalking every single month. It'll come with a board and base, a 9x12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, and a three-ounce bright white. How freaking good is that? Now, if you'd like to get the details all about Club Couture, just comment Club down below and I will be sure to message them all over to you. Now, next thing I want to chat with you about is 
our brand new new designer kit that launched. Oh my goodness, you guys. We just had our brand new product launch on Wednesday and everything in that catalog is amazing. You don't want to miss out on any of it. And guess what? You don't have to if you join my team and purchase your business in a box and launch your empire. You'll be so happy you did. This is what I like to call our business in a box, aka new designer kit. It's only $99 plus tax and shipping in the US, $132 plus tax and shipping in Canada. Now, you will get so much in your kit. Here's what it looks like. And I even updated the picture to include the brand new autumn winter catalog that comes with it. You'll get five three ounce chalk paste. One of those is a brand new color, colonial blue. And one is a shimmer paste, you guys. You will also get a apron, a small squeegee, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by 12 porcelain steel, eight a magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, that gorgeous catalog I was just talking about, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers and you will get the exclusive July transfer let's get lost not the chalk piece singles just the transfer now I know I just told you a whole lot of stuff but I got to tell you a little more in July only so only the month of July we are offering a promotion for new designers if you join my team and okay you hit your designer debut you are going to get this exclusive transfer that says stay focused and extra sparkling. You know what else you're going to get? Some amazing shimmer paste, unicorn shimmer paste. It's not even available to us, you guys, but it is awesome. So you don't want to miss out on it. Now, I know you're probably saying, Jess, you just threw out a whole lot of info at me and I have got questions. Well, no worries because I have your answers. All you need to do is comment, join down below, and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision that you're happy with. And I also want you to be informed on the July promo. Okay, so while I get my camera angles ready, here is a little something for all of my new friends who are just learning about um, Chalk Couture. Uh, while I give give some hellos here. Hi, you guys. Hi, Pat and Melissa, and Michelle and Lori and Shalene. Season, did it not come through? I thought I had messaged that to you um, yesterday. I'm so sorry. I will send, ag we'll send again once I am done live. Um, sorry about that, Season. I don't know why it didn't come through. Um, hi, Kathy Toms. Hi, Ginny. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Sonia. Okay, so you guys... Finished my craft room yesterday. Hopefully you guys saw the video. I am so happy with how organized it looks and how pretty it's looking. Um, and now all I want to do is chalk pretty things to get up there. Look, I even have, and I forgot, that's why I had it up so high. But now I'm too short. You can't even see me. I definitely need my rolly chair. Um, so I had my banner up there so you guys could see who you're with, right? So anyway, let's get to chalking. Um, I do, I am going to put it on this uh, way again. Hopefully you guys will still see me. It'll be so much easier than me looking up. Um, but I wanted to show you what we're going to be working on today. Ah, oh, thanks, Pat. Awesome season. So sorry about that. I don't know what happened. And hi, who, my Facebook user. I don't know who it is. Let's see. Um, I forgot that that will happen, that it doesn't tell me with my new way of viewing chat. It doesn't tell me who's joining from my VIP group. So... Let's see. Hi, Vicki Keller. How are you? Okay, so we got this up. We need to minimize this just a scotch. That way I can pull this over and get this minimized. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make it so I can see both chats. I don't want to leave people out. There we go. Now I can see all chats at once. Oh. All right, so today we are going to work on some more fall, whoops, that shouldn't be in the way, some more fall projects because now I'm all about it. So let's do that. So here's what we're going to do. I found, I think I'm going to do two projects. I'm going to try to at least. Um, let's put that over there first. So I found this fun little box and I was like, oh, this will be super cute hanging it on the back wall or putting it in a tear tray or something, right? Season club is the perfect way to start. 
for sure. And then if you like Club Couture, you can just join as a designer. And as soon as you join, it automatically cancels your Club Couture membership because as a designer, we get that monthly transfer every month. So um, did you get a chance to watch the video? Let me know if you watch the opportunity video. But if not, I think you should join Club Couture first. Test the waters. I know you're going to love it. And then you're going to want to be a designer. Um, oh, yeah, Vicky, you got to totally watch last night's. Okay, so I'm going to... Hi, Leanne. You didn't miss me, girlfriend. You did not miss me. Hi, Kim Widener. Um, I am going to play with an oldie but a goodie. I have not played with this transfer in so long. Um, the tractor, uh, I think it was called Vintage Tractor. Um, and I thought, well, how fun would it be to have a little tractor full of... Um, a tractor full of apples. I mean, not apples, of uh, pumpkins. So we're going to make a little pumpkin um, back of a tracker, almost falling over, if you will. Uh, and then we're I'm hopefully going to make a pumpkin patch sign. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I have enough time. But I'm using a mix between vintage truck fall add-on and the vintage tractor. So we're going to start off with the vintage tractor. Now I'm trying to go all fall colors, okay? So I'm going to use... Um, some orange peel, some pesto, some grayish, some, um, shimmer bronze and bright white. I just can't hold bright white up, but you guys should see that. So we're going to do that today. I think I'm going to do my vintage tractor in, a, did I say bronze? I meant to say copper, shimmer, copper, and grayish. I'm going to do that in the, sh that, both of that stuff in that color. So I'm pretty excited to just get rocking and rolling on this. So I think we're going to do... We need some placement tape, okay, because we got to make some registration marks that it lines up. I mean, I really don't think we need to, but we're going to test it out and see. So what I want to do first, I think I'm going to do the pool is supposed to be, I think, the first layer. But I definitely want to do this because I want to make sure. Um, and honestly, you guys, if, we, if you do not have our surface wax, if you did not order it, you totally want to order that because this is a perfect example of a surface that needs to get waxed, okay, for sure. I'm going to make sure I leave enough room. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so this is a very uneven surface. I did wax it a little bit pre-camera, um, but it's it's definitely uneven, so there may be some spots where the chalk paste doesn't go through all the way because it's a very rough surface. So let's go ahead and let's get this started. So I'm going to do shimmer copper for the first layer. And honestly, you guys, I don't think I am going to use the registration marks. I think I'm going to attempt it flying, not paying, not, not doing it. How's that sound? It doesn't even make sense what I just said, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Hi, Mary Edgar. Hi, I'm not getting my beeper when Facebook. Oh, no, I'm sorry about that. Awesome season. Um, I'm great, Jane Brown. How are you? You ordered the wax too, Georgie? Good, 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 good. Hi, Carolyn. Okay, so we've got our chalk paste stirred up to a beautiful consistency. I'm going to grab out some squeegees here. So I'm going to just dip it into my chalk paste. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to chalk this. Now, I'm hoping because it is a shimmer, hopefully it will show up on this surface because it is a dark. Oops, I almost went onto that registration mark. I would have been super sad. Um, it is a darker surface, so I'm hoping it shows. That's why I also went with the grayish with this because it's a lighter color, so you should definitely see it then. And these colors just seemed like fall to me. Autumn slash fall. And these transfers are in stock, you guys. That's the best part. Okay. All right. So let's see how this turned out. Oh, yeah. It went on there. It's a little uneven, like I said it may be, um, because of the surface. It is not the transfer. It's not the chalk piece. It's my raw wood surface. And I love it so far. So let's go ahead and let's get this part dried. This is, oh, I can't reach my dryer. This is such an odd way for me to do this facing you guys and here, but now, especially because I don't have a chair, you guys, I'm looking up at my camera. You can't even see my head. 
So I need my rolly chair back. I gave my rolling chair to Little Brand when I decided I would start using a standing desk, which I soon regretted and hated. Um, but it's going to be super cute, I promise. And I may have ad angled this down a little too far, but that's okay. It's so fine. I'm not concerned. It's going to be adorbs. It's going to be absolutely adorable. Okay. So shimmer paste does take an extra little second to dry and it is still a little wet. So hold on. The shimmer paste, um, it's, he it's a heavier, it's heavier chalk paste. So it does take just a little second more. Okay. Oh, that's really hot. That would, I'm going to let that surface cool off a little bit. Okay. Hi, Dana. Thank you for sprinkling, Dana. I can see all of you with the desk. You like it? That's good, right? Hopefully you guys like that. Okay. So, okay. Hindsight probably should have used the registration marks. Hold on, you guys, because I cannot see through at all. Womp, womp, womp. I think this is good, though. And it's going to be floating a little in the air. Can I just... It's actually... Yeah, it's actually right on. It's okay. It's going to look like it's floating a little. No biggie. Okay, let's get the grayish going. Oh boy, my grayish is chunky. I love when I see colors that I don't use all the time. I'm like, good lord. Just need to get a little bit of... What was that? Oh, it's my hair. I was like, oh my gosh, I keep seeing something out of the corner of my eye. That would be my hair. Oh, this is good. All right. So we got our color all stirred up. I already made a mess of my fingers. Big surprise. I don't know why I get so surprised at that. You guys probably aren't surprised. But still, I seem I feel like I amaze myself with how dirty I can get in such a short amount of time. I definitely put a whole hoop of paste on this. Wowza. Ton of chalk paste. Oh my gosh. Did not need that much. We're going to get all that up. We're going to save that for next time. See? All over my fingers, you guys. I don't know how I manage. There it goes. I got some of the clump off. Oh, I love it. It looks so good. Look at my fun little tractor, you guys. My little bed of my tractor, whatever that's called. I don't really know. The pulley part. It's going to look so good with some orange pumpkins. Maybe I'll have enough room to write harvest. We'll see. You like this view, Dana? You like it too, Stacy? Awesome. I'm so glad. Okay. Now, oh, we need some pumpkins in here. We're going to use some orange peel and the pumpkins from the vintage truck add-on because did you know that they fit perfectly inside the back of the tractor? Did you guys know that? Look at that. Oh, we may not have room for harvest, but that's okay. Maybe we could do it at the bottom. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's get our... Just want to make sure that I'm lined up right. Okay, good. That's good. Well... We need a little more distilled water in our orange peel. 
sure I'll be wearing this in a second too. It doesn't typically take me very long to wear a chalk paste. Okay, so that's good. Probably could have closed up those two, but it's okay. Oh, that's a little bumpy, but that's okay. Trying to see if I got everything covered. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time seeing that. I think I'm missing some of the tops. Okay, let's take our time pulling it back. <gasps> oh. Oh, MG, look how good they look. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. My gosh, I love it. Love, love, love them. Okay, hold on. Let me get my chalk paste jars closed here because I have a really bad habit of just leaving them sit open. Oh, I just want to use this copper all day, every day. I'm just saying. It's freaking adorable. There's a lot of grayish in this jar. I wonder how that is. Okay. And I'm just spraying a little water in there for next time so that way they're not as chunky. Okay. I am loving my tractor, you guys. What do you guys think? Oh, it looks so good. They're so cute. So, so cute. You guys like it? Oh, good. I'm glad. Oh, hi, Vicki. You do love my setup. Awesome. Trailer of tractor. Yes, there you go. I'm glad you like it, Star. Thank you, Dina. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Val. Thanks, Georgie. Okay, we're going to give it just a sec. It's a little hot. Is this the right one? Oh, I see. I mean, what in the hell the heck is that supposed to be? I'm not going to do these two randos off to the side. I don't even know. That's perfectly lined up, though. That looks super good. And we're going to get do some green stems. Whoa, pesto. Slow your roll here. I obviously have not used you in a bit. Oh my gosh, I need new pesto. I need some new chalk piece. I could tell this was what was dredged on the bottom. And I must have been trying to scoop it together. That's okay. It's going to do. We only need a little bit. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. I just have to be careful to not do those two randos down at the bottom. I have plenty of paste there. Oh, look how precious that looks! Oh, I love it. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of feel like I need a different color for the base of the wagon. Can you guys see it in there? Does it show up well? It looks, oh, it looks so good.
And you know what, you guys? This is a six by six square, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, so our five by five ones are gonna be so cute. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be adorable. And it will probably fit in there like perfectly in the five by five because it's about a half inch there or about an, a quarter of an inch there and about three quarters of an inch here that I have left. <gasps> Okay, let's see. Do we want to... just feel like the shimmer isn't catching my attention as much as I was hoping it would. Maybe the shimmer copper. Well, no, you know what? We're going to keep it because I think it looks super cute. Look at it. You guys see? So adorable. I love it. Okay. So let's do another one because we got that kicked out pretty quickly doing tractor on another piece of wood. I'm not Vicky. I'm going to keep, I'm just going to keep it like that. I just thought it would look super cute like that. Um, it is a found surface, Stacy. You can't see the copper. Yeah. Dang. Okay. So you know what? Let's maybe redo this. Maybe we'll do it in. I'm trying to think what colors I've seen wagons. Um, bark will be way too close to the background. Well, the bark is actually kind of dark. Maybe bark will look good. Let's try some bark. It might be a little bit darker. Oh gosh, I have like none. I need to seriously stock up on some paste, you guys. I'm going to have to clean that off. Hold on. I'll show you how I'm going to clean it lightning quick. Look at a split. This is not how I typically like to clean my transfers. I like to use just water and a board eraser, and I just let air dry. I don't even use the wipes anymore. I just feel like they work so much better this way. Pour my uh, fuzzing towel out. We'll dry it up really quickly. Whoops. I like that you guys can see this version because you can see what I'm doing where I don't have enough room for the camera. I mean, you can see it up there. I mean, you're seeing it both ways now, so that's pretty awesome. And that is pretty dry already. Man, I better be careful getting up because I think my zipper went down. Green or red? John Deere green. Good call. Do we have John Deere greens? That would be like meadow. Hi, Sue Tapley. Meadow. All right, let's do meadow. Since we did pesto for the stems, let's do meadow. John Deere green. Where would my meadow be? This is the fun game. We oh, there it is. I was going to say, this is the fun game we play all the time, you guys. Where is Jessica's chalk piece at? Oops, that's going to fall. Mm. And how many stir sticks and squeegees can I dirty in 25 minutes? It's another fun game. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's just quick go over this. I think I, maybe I'll leave the pulley part and just do the tractor itself. What do we think? The bed. Mm -hmm. That looks super good. I feel like I should do the wheel too. I'm probably going to regret that decision, but we'll see. <laughs> that looks pretty stinking cute, you guys. Good job, everyone. 
I don't know. Do we think I should do the pool? We are sisters from another mister, Sue. Can I zoom in a little on the screen that shows my hands? Great question. I don't know. Apparently I can. Who knew? Who knew, Mary Beth? I didn't know that I could do that on this part. Do you guys think I should do the pulley part too? What do we think? Hi, Sherry Jensen. Do the handle. Okay. We can do the handle. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to just do everything green then. That looks awesome. Look at that. Loving it. Yay, so this guy's done. Now I feel like we need a sign to go along with it, right? And I feel like we could just keep it the same color that I'm going to use. Now, I do know this surface is out of stock, and I'm sorry. Um, but, hi, Natalie. How are you? Okay. I'm going to the back of the wagon, too. Yes, totally did do it. I think it looks super cute. I think it's adorable. Absolutely. Ow. Gosh. Absolutely adorable. So cute. Okay. So we've got that one done. Let's get these out of the way because they're hogging up precious desk space. Now, I was thinking we could do pumpkin patch on here and use the sweet little pumpkins, which I got to clean again. Good thing I didn't get rid of that wipe. Let me quick clean this off because we're going to repeat all on the bottom. And we're going to make a little pumpkin patch, you guys. Hi, Anita. How are you? Hi, Tracy. Thanks, Suze. Okay. Let's get this dry. Don't look at my nails, by the way. Moving grid walls for two and a half days. And heavy boxes and everything are bound to make you lose nails or break them so bad that you have no choice but to rip them off. Yep, four nails. Four nails that happened too, so I have to renew, redo my nails tonight. Okay, so what my thought was is I'm going to seriously just line the base all the way up and across with pumpkins, right? And then I'm going to do pumpkin patch right across this. Um... I'm wondering what color I should use for pumpkin patch. Should I just use black velvet? Should I use... Thanks, Anita. Hi, Joyce. Um, thanks, Sherry. You think? See, I wasn't going to stain it. I guess I could. I wasn't going to. I was going to keep it. Um, but you know what? You might be right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, we can. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough bark. That's the only thing. I have like no bark left. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> I could just use a quick stain though, like a wood stain real fast. Um, I'll do that instead. I definitely, oh, jeez. I definitely love my, I love being able to stain with, um, our chalk paste, but I'm running low on bark and my order has not gotten here to replace yet. So we'll just use, um, you know what? We're going to use a paper towel. I usually, last time I was like, oh, I'll be all fancy and I'll keep my hands clean. Not today. Not today. Awesome, Stacy. Hi, Holly Blake. Ombre orange into black. That could be good. 
um, bright orange into black. I could try that. I, I was thinking the orange might be a little overwhelming since I'm doing a whole thing of pumpkins down the bottom. I don't know. Gotta do the tops and the sides too. Now this is our palette board. Now I, I posted a picture of the project I did. Oops, well the bottom might not get it. Um, I posted a picture of the project that I made for Chalk Con the other day. And this was the leftover piece of wood. You guys, I actually cut it. I was desperate. I was like, I'm just going to cut this because I want the shelf. So I did it. And I was scared to death. But the little saw thing worked. So that was fun. Oh, my eyes are itching. Oh, my God, wood stain all over me. All right, let's quick dry this. This definitely will look cute. Actually, I'm glad I did stain it. Thanks for the idea, Suze. This color, ooh, darn it. This color is Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in Walnut. I've had this for so long. So, so long. All right. So, yeah, we're pretty dry. Nice. All right, so we've got Pumpkin Patch. Well, now that I did it all dark, I could probably do grayish and it will be seen to tie in from this one. That might be cute. What do you guys think? Thanks, Nikki Morris. I'm glad, Holly. I did mini buffalo plaid and bark with pumpkin patch and back and pumpkins in a box frame last night. Glued mini bays, bales of hay under pumpkins. Too cute. <gasps> Tracy, how cute. I'll have to check that out. I bet you that was adorable. Um, What do you guys think about if I do pumpkin patch and grayish? To tie in the sign from here. This definitely needs to be fuzzed up. This is a sticky little sucker. What do you guys think about that? Rot row. Did I freeze? Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm just using our fuzzing tail to help get some of the excess stickiness off you guys what do you think I think I should add I think I should do this in grayish to tie in the colors because we're gonna have a lot of a lot of orange right oh that's gonna be so cute okay good go for it yes grayish would be cute go for it okay that's what we're gonna do and then that way we're tying in both signs how cute is it going to be? Right? Let's come back over here, Grish. I don't know why I had stirred all, I mixed all of these and closed them up. I shouldn't have. I forgot. Hopefully we're going to see it on here. We'll, oh, yeah, we'll see it because I just flicked some off. and Oh, and it did on the top. Oh my gosh, I am not careful. I forgot that this was an odd cut. Oh, this is going to be so cute, you guys. If I put that to the side, can you guys see still? Oh, it's a little difficult to see. Well, no, actually, it might just be my light. Can you guys see it? Oh, yeah, you can see it. Oh, it's there. Yeah. I like it. Super cute. Super, super cute. Ombre, orange, gray, and black. I could do some black in it. That would probably be cute. I could do some black down along the bottom. Or, you know what? I could do a shadow. 
where the I could do it in black with the grayish as the shadow. Let's try that. I'm going to try and see if I move it over slightly. Oh, that's way too hot. I, and that's still wet. Why is that so wet? Not wet now. A little hot. So we're going to wait a second. Yes, we could do that, Suze. That's a great idea. Go around the edges with the black. I like it, sister. So do we want me to go around the edges with the black or should I do the shadow layer? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to attempt to do the shadow layer because I'm just going to offset it just a little bit. Let's try the shadow layer. And guess what? If I don't like it, I will take it right off. I think the shadow layer could look super cute. Let's try that. Where's my black velvet? Yeah, you guys like that? I could use a black marker and outline the letters. I happen to have a black marker right here. I believe. Nope, that's gold. Where's my black marker? Where's my black chalk marker? There's silver. Here we go. Hold on. Let's see how it looks. Oh, I like this. Good call to use the chalk marker. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome. And I for sure do not have a steady hand, but it's like it's following along the chalk paste. Our chalk markers are pretty awesome, you guys. These two are connected. Look how good that looks. It looks really cool. I hope you guys can see that. What do you guys think so far? Oh, I'm so glad you guys know. I really don't have a steady hand. I have thyroid hands. They shake all the time. I'm just like, I'm trying to go as light as possible and let my hand follow the way the chalk paste feels. Oops, see that one I didn't. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Let's finish strong, you guys.
and you don't even have to push hard that's the crazy thing like literally my hands are so like I'm hardly putting any pressure at all Uh oh, see? I went a little wonky. Now I'm starting to get nervous because I'm getting close to the end. wonky again there but that's okay oh my gosh it looks so good so good yay all right so let's get this up here because we're done with this and I'll take it to get washed when I'm done let's close up grease because we're done with grease now we're going to come back oy, we're going to come back and use the hold on. now I'm really done with it so I will throw some water in again some distilled water out of my fine mist sprayer. Okay. Remember, you don't want to use regular water in your chalk paste. You will not be happy with what happens. Okay. So, I'm going to start off in the center. Well, let's see what the center is. Five, six. So right there is the center. So we're going to put our first set of pumpkins right there. It does, right, Debbie Green? It totally does. How are you today? Oh my gosh, I'm making a huge mess. It's the only way I live my life is by making a mess. And you guys, if you did not see, I still have just a few left of my box this week. Okay, put it up there. If you want the details, all you got to do is comment the comment box down below. And my bot will automatically send it to you. Okay? It will send you the details. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is adorable. I line that up right. Ugh, I'm wearing orange peel all over my fingers. As per usual. Can't do anything without making a mess. Oh my goodness. They are too cute.
Oi, did I really do what I think I just did? I sure did. Where is my handler to tell me not to do those things? Hold on. We're going to dry it real quick so I can touch it up. I just stuck my hand right in there. No big deal. There it goes. And we fixed it like nothing ever happened. How cute are these pumpkins, you guys? Are they not precious? Oh, I'm going to be so ready for autumn. Hi, Ka. Huh? I know, right? Okay. So let's dry these up so we don't mess these guys up. Okay, now we need the stems again. Where are those cute little stems? Where are the stems? I did have them. Nope, needs to be cleaned. Can you put a price in the center like 10 cents? How cute would that be, Sue? I can see what I got. Do they have anything that says that in the vintage truck ad on fall? I might even be able to. I was looking. They do have the one saying that I was thinking I was going to use. But I might do yours. Let's see. <coughs> Not lick. <laughs> Hi, Melinda. Okay. And we are dry. Yay. Okie dokie. Let's add some stems up here. Once again, not doing the little outlier ones. No idea why those are there. I think because if they were on the bed of the truck, it would have made sense, but they're not. So there is that. Okay, where's my little... Oh my gosh. They're so cute. So, so cute. Okay, let's dry them. Look at these little pumpkins. I just want to love on them. Hopefully that is lined up correctly. We shall see in a minute. And it appears to be. Okay, and then let's move over to here. I'm going to, again, that big guy, that big pumpkin is the one that I want to just at line up. Because I feel like as long as I line up that middle one, they all line up. Kind of just how I feel. But that's the way that it has seemed to work for me so far. Yep. Check that out. 
All right, so we've got our fun little pumpkins. Let's go ahead, let's dry this up. Yikes. And then I think I'm gonna add, there's a line, like a single one way, like a market and antique shop open daily. Wouldn't that be cute? The 10 cents totally would be cute as well, but there's not a 10 cents that comes inside these transfers. You could totally draw it on though if you're gonna do a chalk marker. But Shoa, um, I think I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do it in the black velvet is what I think. The lemonade transfer, yeah, but the only problem is is that not everybody can get that lemonade transfer anymore, and I try to stick to what's available. The fresh transfer has 25 cents. That could be cute. Let's see. The freshen up. Yeah, where is freshen up? Let's see. It does. It says five cents. That's a cheap pumpkin. That's not realistic. <laughs> Hi, Nicole Bennett. How are you feeling? Oh, I've been thinking of you. Um, I'm th Oh, Leanne, hold on. You know what happened here? I got an error on Manny Chat. Hold on. What the hey? Hold on. Let me try my widget again. Why did that do that? Hold on. It's giving me an error. I didn't even notice it. Leanne, try again. See if it works now. Yeah, give me an, a weird error. i never seen that before. I know. I want fall to be here, too. I know, Kathy. It's totally fine. You know what? It's okay. We will just go with this one. And it's at least it's all in the same packet, right? So let's see. Let's make sure none of our... And now I do feel like we need to maybe even write it in. Because I've... Ugh. Can I, like, eyeball this? Yeah. Whoops. Well, you know what? It's because I put it on crooked. So there's that. So it looks... I feel like we do need to add, like, 10 cents or 5 cents or something. Do we have a dollar... Hmm. See if that works, you guys. Mm. Vicky, that is way retired. Kissing booth. I don't like to use anything that's retired because I want all my customers, customers to be able to get it. All right. Thanks, Leanne. I'm glad you did that. That was so weird. Hi, Jackie Green. Um, oh, dang. So, mm, what a bummer. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just have to draw in 10 cents. Oh, I have the worst handwriting. Worst handwriting ever. Use market daily. Market open daily. Well, Sue, so I could just use market open daily. Then I got to figure out how long it is. Well, I'm just going to eyeball it. And that should work. And I can use that as a go. Yeah, that's going to work, So Good. Susan Tapley, you were so creative. Mistletoe kisses. Yes. <coughs> I do. I do. Mistletoe kisses, I believe, is retired. So I can't use that one, Diana. Five cents per pound. Just write it in. I might. I might. I might. I might. Let's see. My handwriting's terrible, though, you guys. Absolutely the worst. Hopefully I left enough room for market to get in there. I could totally do that. Totally could, Vicky. Rot row. Drop that on the ground. Oh, I'll use the O, is it? <laughs> yes. That was that was huge. The O from open and 
The Anne, is that an Anne? What is that symbol? The ampersand pretty much line up so I can squeeze them in. I could just use that. Oh, so smart. <laughs> that looks so cute. Okay, hold on. That, oh, I have a table again. I can actually do that. That looks so cute. I went a little crooked, but that's okay. I could try, um, I could try from, whatchamacallit, um, from handwritten font. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? Ouch, I just stubbed my toe. Here's handwritten font. Oh, they're super big. I, ugh, it's not going to look right. But you totally could have. If I wouldn't have done the saying, I would have been able to do it. Because there is... A dollar sign. I could have done. I could have done a dollar and the period and like twenty five cents. Too big. But it's a good thought. It was definitely a good thought. If I wouldn't have jumped ahead, I would have been able to do that, and it probably would have looked super cute. Oh, I'm so glad, Vicky Hunter. Yeah, it's a little too big, you guys. But that's okay. It's totally fine. You know what I could do? We are going to use handwritten font. Oh, man. I'm just going to be full of creating today. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. You can make a price cross it out for price reduction. Would be cute. The numbers from Graduate. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but I got an idea, you guys. Hold tight. Uh, this is like this rando wood that I found that might take the stain super nicely like this, and I could put a tag. Watch. Got an idea, Bruin. I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, Melissa, this is wood? I don't think so. Can you want um you can you grunge the edges with a little stain or ink? Oh, for sure. Hold on. Hold tight, little lady. Hold on tight. Sue, I'm super sad you're not going next week. I miss you. Got an idea, friends. I got an idea. Because if I'm going to be putting it all together, right? Oh, yeah. Still a little light. I don't want it to be a little darker. That's okay. That's going to work. I'll grunge it up with some. Um, actually, you know what? No. I'm, I know what I'm going to do. Whoa. I think it's because it's got a gloss on it. Got an idea. Let's get that shiny coat off. We'll stain it. And if I get the shiny coat off, I should be. Able, it should take the stain better. Hold on. Hang on with me, you guys. Just hang with me. I'm getting there. And we're going to have... We're going to have that fun sign. You like you, Stacy? I will, Sue. I know. I know. Don't worry. I will. Did I throw the paper towel away? What did I do with it? I sure did. I'm 
There we go. Now it's going to match that one. See, it just needed to be, it needed to just get um, sanded. Because it had that clear gloss over it. And taking it off, that did it. That did it. There we go. All right, let's try this. I got the idea, you guys. Hi, Lori. Lori, the um, box will only work on Facebook commenting box. Ooh, that smells like burning wood. Ooh, wee. All right, let's do this. Grunge it up. You got it. I will do that. I'll do it at the end. That way, um, yeah, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. All right, watch. Watch, watch, watch. Because I'll go back in and dirty everything up. All right, so we need handwritten font. All right. We need our dollar sign, which I have yet to use. Oh, my gosh. Oh my God, I need to fuzz that up. Okay. So what, do, it's, what is common for a pumpkin? It's like 50 cents a pound? I don't even remember. We went out pumpkin picking last year. But I don't recall. Who knows? <coughs> you were thinking bark should do bark I haven't done bark with anything else so I'm, I'm worried it might stick out I don't have a scent sign oh my gosh what was that Verizon bet you they're calling about my appointment <coughs> Um, not sure if I'd blend it though. I don't have a scent sign. It doesn't give us a scent sign. I have to do the dollar sign point, whatever. And then LB. There it goes. Oh, 25 cents a pound. We could do that. Okay. So let's use this little guy. And we could do point. Hold on. Point two five LB stick with black yeah I agree I think the black will seriously look awesome first time using these numbers point oh that's gotta get that has to be fuzzed I'm fuzzing it on my leg because I'm running out of room on my desk. Oh, I could have done that, Sue. Uh. Okay. I could probably still do it, actually. Ugh. I am being super brazen going long ways. Mm -mm. I'm asking to go off. Ooh. It's really good on there. Yikes. I hate when it does that. This has turned out to be a really big, really long live. Yes, I will draw the scent sign in for sure. So let's... I have that... Vahivala or Vahivala. I don't know how to say it. It's like a yacht rock song in my brain right now. Because me and Brandon have been on a yacht rock kick. 
I can go down just a scooch. Does anyone listen to Yacht Rock on Sirius? Me and Bran love that station. That reminds us of the camper because we would listen to it. It was one of the stations we could get in down there. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. All right, now question. I'm drawing a blank on the scent sign. Hold on. Uh, and I could use the exclamation point or this thing to go sideways. LB. Oh, and I only have capitals. Darn it. Okay. I could just draw it in up here. Sh should I make it tiny? What do you guys think? A tiny scent sign? Or should I go long like um, handwritten font? What do we think? Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, I know what we could do. I could use the C and throw a slash by it. There it goes. What if I do 25 cents and I do the slash through the C to make it look like it's the cent sign? I could just do C slash. Wait, does the C go this way? C with the line. It is. It's a C like that. Yes, it is. Okay. Hopefully you guys like this. And it's going to be, I can, I'm just going to write in LB underneath it, I think, because I'm taking up, I should have started it. Dang it. If I was just going to do, I don't know, let's see, maybe, Okay, hold on. Bear with me. Let's dry it, and I'll dry this the slash down. How's that look? Twenty-five cents. Oh, it's not as dark. Let's go over it again. Not bad. 25 cents slash LB. Oh, Leanne, if you use the little circles and placement tape, girl, you'll be so happy. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go a little down further. And, this, and I'm going to draw it up on an angle. I think it'll look cute. I got to just move it up and make sure that it lines up is all. And try not to let it touch. <laughs> it looks good. I'm just gonna hold on. Sorry, guys. I have to do it where I can see it because I'm gonna try to keep. Oops. I'm gonna try to extend the line a little more. <laughs> that looks cute, but we totally could have drew it in. But that's okay. It's seriously fine. It's no big deal. I don't know how I like this. I think I took up too much room. I did. I'm going to just draw the little LB in. Ugh. I hate this line. I hate this line. We're going to take it off. I hate it. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can get it off. Um, where's my
I'm going to just write in LB, hopefully. Hopefully it'll come off and I can do that. Yes, it just makes it look dingy, which is cool because that's the look we're going for anyway. Fantastic. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy because I was not loving that. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I just was not. Whew. Thank goodness that came off. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to write in LB next to it. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, I'm going to just do LB. Does that look good? Oh, it does. Look, I actually have somewhat okay handwriting here. Let's make it darker. Not bad. That's cute. Okay, let's dirty it up. Wowza, I used a lot of transfers today. Holy cow. Okay, let's just, oh gosh, it's gone. All right, let's dirty this up, but let's first close up all our chalk paste jars because I realized I left them all open while I was going. Let's get some in this orange real quick. Okay, now it's time to dirty it up. And you guys know I love to do that. You stay on. I am making little pumpkin signs for fall. For fall. I'm making little pumpkin signs for fall. Cindy, what have you been up to, girl? All right, let's get them out of the way. Okay, there's all my dirty. So that's my thing that I don't need anymore. Okay, so I'm trying to clean up a little bit here so we have room and you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now we just got to make it dirty. Let's put the buzzing cloth away because we're done with that. Oh my gosh. And these pants, my zipper falls down all the time. Okay. Ready? Let's get our distress ink. And we're going to try. I don't know which one we want to do. Should we do maybe vintage photo or should I do some black soot? Thinking I should do some black soot today. Because I, they look dingy, like this already looks dingy, but I think if I highlight it with some black soot, it might look pretty decent. Yeah. Just highlights where we already um, sanded. It looks really good. I just wanted to come in a little where that looks awesome. That looks super good. Actually, I don't like the black on this one. Let's go with the let's go with the vintage photo, which is my fave. Get back here, Dauber. I was trying to use this thing because my fingers always get so cramped up in a dauber, especially because I have nails. But you guys, nothing distresses better than a good old fashioned sponge dauber. And when you use this, when you use the sponge dauber, you can come in across your project like this. Look at this and just dirty up. Get them pumpkins some dirty a little. Yes, I love it. Nice and dirty. We got to dirty up our pumpkins in the other one too. It's a little too bright for me. I'll tell you what. 
if I knew how to use a scroll saw, I've got one. I've attempted to play with it a few times, and then I also was terrified. I would put a set right here. I will tell you something that I did order, but that's going to make this live drag out even more, and I feel bad doing that to you guys. Hi, Mary Jane. How are you? Hi, Lynn. Where do I get the distress inks? I get them right on Amazon, but you can get them on at, at any craft store, really. Um, yeah. That's that's the truth, Lynn. You can. I feel like I want to I want to um maybe sand the edges of this. Oh yeah. Let's sand the edges first and then we'll come back in. Whatever grit I got on the sandpaper, oh, can never have nice clothes. Never have nice things, Jess, because you're too messy. Whatever grit I got, I freaking love it because it stands so well. Now, oh yeah, it'll take the color so much better when you sand it down a little. Look at that. I know that this live would have gone so much faster, or this project, I should say, had I had known what I was going to do. I knew the idea I was going behind. I knew the transfers I wanted to use. I wasn't entirely sure of the full idea. Oh, this looks so cute. What do you guys think? Do you love it? I wish I had... Should we test out something? Do you guys want to hang around with me for a little bit more? It's called an apron. Yes, Michelle, you're right. All right, you guys. Oh, hey, Jess. How are you? Um, thank you, Mary Jane. I'm glad you like that. I use um Ranger Distress Inks, Lynn. Okay, do you guys want to hang around for a little bit more with me? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I don't know where I stuck them. Hold on. If I was this new stuff and I just organized my room, where would I have stuck it? Is this it? No. Oh, no. Where did I put it? Hold on, you guys. Right here. Yay. I was to say, I know I had it. Okay, so I've got this foam core stuff, right? It's a foam board, multi-use foam, foam board. What if we, ouch, chalk the pumpkins on one of these, and then we cut it out to add some texture? What do we think? Oh, we'll only clean the transfer again. Oh my gosh, I'm making a total mess in my room. That's okay. It's okay. It's worth it, right? It's so worth it. Let's get some stuff out of the way, though. Because it's a little ridiculous. Let's get these down here. These we don't need. All right, let's quick clean this. Need another wipe. Hopefully you'll see where I'm going with this. Oh boy, hold on. All right, there's a lot of sanding stuff right there, okay. Okay, bear with me, you guys. I promise it'll be worth it if you stick around. I promise. Okay. Yep. 
Yikes. Okay, let's dry our transfer. That's what I'm thinking, Cindy. Thanks, Suze. Thanks, Kim. I think it'll give a dimension. I really do. And then we'll just glue it on. I mean, we'll probably have to foam dot it on because I think hot glue will melt the foam. Let me do, hold on, let me get this on. I'm thinking if this was a everyday transfer that, or a transfer rather that I haven't already used a bajillion times, you would for sure want to wax this surface is what I'm thinking. Okay. Hold on. That would be my, my thoughts. If you haven't used it a bunch. I've used that transfer with the pumpkin so many times because it's, you know, we've had it for a while and it comes out as a favorite every single year like clockwork for me. Okay, let's get this sitting in here drying while we start on this part. Okay, ha! for the third time when I said I was done using the chalk piece, I'm going to pull it out. All right, let's get the orange peel again. Good. I don't have any other color on it. That's pretty awesome. All right. Hopefully you guys are able to see what I'm doing. I know I'm at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That looks awesome. All right, you guys, let's put this to the side and we'll gently dry this. I'm gonna hold it up here because uh, I don't trust that the heat isn't gonna wreck the foam. Now I've never used this before. I I saw another designer use it and I thought, oh, that could be fun. And another alternative, where's the stems? And another alternative to having something that we could just hand cut. I think that's pretty dry. This is pretty thick foam. So I'm hoping it does not give me an issue when I go to cut it. Hi. Well, hopefully I don't mix any orange peel in with this because that would not be good. And hopefully you can even see the green on the foam, the pesto. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a second. I'm going to be cutting it out. I need to cut it first. Nope. Had a lapse in judgment for one second. Oh, you could totally see it. So cute. So cute. Okay. So let's see what you need to cut this. Do I have a razor blade? Probably not. Would I trust myself with a razor blade? Probably not. Um, we're going to test out some regular, regular old scissors. Not using my transfer trimmers, that's for sure. <coughs> I have such a bad headache, you guys. Ugh. I'm dying. I think it's because I didn't go to bed till super late last night. All right, let's see. Oh, I mean, it's kind of difficult. It's definitely... Oh, I sure did pick a good one. For my very first time using this. Well, yikes. Okay. I need sharper scissors, I think. I have another pair in here. Maybe these will work. <laughs> these hardly get through. All right. Hindsight. 
wishing I would have bought some white foam core because you can kind of see the black. Oh my God, these scissors are probably worse. I'm thinking I'm cutting and it's doing nothing. Okay, let's come back to these. Gosh, coughing, it's making my head hurt even more. Well, this is not good. It's super thick, you guys. And it's not, you know what? What about my rotary trimmers? I don't even know if I would trust that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure I would cut them off better. Like, it's not going to be as close as I would have hoped for it to be. And especially because it's black, it's going to look a little funny. Yeah, see? Mm, what a bummer. Well, you guys will see it anyway. Probably should have painted it first. That would have probably been the smart thing to do. I'll try my best to get as close as I can on the edge here. I mean, it doesn't look super bad. It just does not match. But it does look pretty cool. It does look pretty nifty. Especially because they're raised. Hindsight should have done it. Should have painted the board first. Let's see how that looks. I mean, it, it does look really cool because it pops them out. But I would really have to go all around even closer. Womp, womp, womp. There's how that would look, guys. Can you guys still see me? Okay, good. Yeah, no, my cough, smoker's cough, Nicole, um, and headache because I slept like cramp. Um, oh, Michelle Olson, you're so sweet. Leave a little black showing around the edges. I did. What do you guys think of it, though? Do you guys like it? I don't know how I feel about it. What do you guys think? It kind of looks out of place. I wish I would have thought to paint the board first and like paint it white and then, then, um, um, oh gosh, stain it this color. I think it would have looked so good. Use fun foam. Yeah, I got this thick foam. I probably should have gotten fun foam, but I thought I was getting more for my money with this one. Huh. So that's that then. You guys, I mean, it would be cute. It's a shame. I mean, I suppose it does, but it just, I feel like it's like night and day. <laughs> These pumpkins are showing in at the nighttime and those are in the daytime. I'll redo it and I'll post a picture of that later. I am sure everybody has things to do when you don't want to hang out with me all day long. So that's about what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my project. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm having an avalanche. I hope you guys enjoyed the project. I still think it turned out super cute. So we've got our little pumpkin. Can you guys see it there? And see it here. And we did our other little pumpkin and our tractor. It's so cute. It definitely ties it all together. I love it. And then where's, oh wait, we never did anything with this. We could like just hang it from, I was thinking of just maybe like, Hanging it off the side or something. 
Hmm. I could probably just even stick it up there. It might, that might even be cute. All right, let me get this part figured out because now I really wanted to do that. I'll post pictures later. But so, so cute. I love what we did. Um, let's try and bring me back down again. And where you don't just see my head. Ah, there I am, way at the bottom. Why, why, is, it, why is it doing that? Why? There it goes. Um, so... That's what I got for you today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hi, Mama Disney. Thanks, Lisa. I'm going to put the 25 cent tag on. Yes, Lisa. I just haven't decided where I'm going to put it at. I'll figure it out. Uh, but I've got too much of a mess on my desk and I can't think straight. Plus, we do have some things we got to get done today. So I got to go run. You can cut. Oh, yes, yeah, Sue. That'll be great. I'll cut it on my scroll saw. I don't think so. That's the whole point of having fun foam or the foam. Um, yeah, it would be so cute, Leanne, with the farmhouse beads and the 25 cents. Yes. Vicky likes stuck on the corner. Awesome. Yay. Love it. Love it. Love it. So um, that's about all I got for you guys today. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you at any time would like to go into my VIP group, just comment me down below and I'll be sure to message you the link to that. Sorry, no designers. If you would like to get the details all about joining my team and purchasing your awesome business in a box and taking advantage of the July special, comment join down below for the link to my opportunity group to hear all those details. And if you'd like the details about joining club, my club couture just comment club down below and i'll message it all to you along with the link to sign up so i hope you guys have a great day um and i will chat with you all tomorrow tomorrow morning chalking and coffee so that'll be fun um so i will be on bright and early i believe 9 30 my time to come on let's see my hours i forget i gotta learn them again 9 30 so let's do that and um, we will chat then, okay? I will talk to you guys later. Whoopsie. Um, enjoy the rest of your Friday night and um, we'll see each other tomorrow morning, okay? Bye, you guys. If I could get this thing to click, that would be great. I can't get it. Okay, bye again.